Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com and this is obviously my Samsung Galaxy S2, a phone that's almost a year old for me and I still really love it. And if you haven't watched our how to and how to get a custom ROM on there, uh, right now it's all about the walkthrough of the Slim ICS uh, custom ROM. So let's switch it on over here and let me show you what you can see. Um, I'm, what I like about this is um, the lock screen is also showing you um, the weather over here and shows you the battery life and this nice little CRT animation. Okay, and you're unlocking it obviously here and you can also immediately switch over to your camera. Actually, you can add additional little apps here. I'm not using um, the zoom launcher, which is the stock launcher that comes with Slim ICS. Um, I've actually uh, installed the Apex launcher because it gives me more like this ICS stock vanilla experience. As you can see, I'm, I'm still setting up my system, but what you can see is it's very smooth. The performance of it is absolutely fantastic. So this is something that you should know. Uh, from all these Galaxy Nexus and uh, ICS or stock ICS smartphones and tablets that are around. So um, yeah, as I said, the performance is absolutely fantastic. What it does is a couple of really nice tweaks. Um, you can see it looks quite small, but actually you can even set up uh, the density of the screen. But let's walk through um, the settings of Slim ICS a little bit. Oh, by the way, here's the LCD uh, density. It's now set to 182 and you can set it even higher, you can set it even lower if anything is too small for you over here. You can disable the boot animation, uh, bug mailer. Here's a CRT off animation, which I really like. And um, let's go to the navigation bar. If you um, are familiar with the ICS on a Galaxy Nexus or even on the tablets that don't have any physical buttons anymore, you know, it can also show you this typical ICS. And it was also on Honeycomb, this little um, navigation bar at the bottom. Of course, I don't need it over here. Um, there's a lock screen option where you can highly customize your lock screen if you want to put custom apps on there, if you want to have a horizontal uh, lock screen. Actually, you can even enable a fast torch so that you have a little mobile light for your device. And uh, we have a power menu option where you can... Okay, you can set up... No, 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 hold on. I'm going to mix it up right now. Um, Let's, let, let's go to the power menu a little bit later. Over here is the weather, right? You can set up the weather and then you're just refreshing it over here. You could, you could even put it into the status bar. Um, we, have, we have a power saver over here that can switch off your data connection while your screen is off. And you can switch off Wi-Fi and whatnot. LED options, uh, well, this is obviously for your status uh, notification LED here. And then there are a couple of general settings about brightness control. You know what? This is really cool. I switch it on over here. Can you see this? So I can control the brightness while swiping from the left to the right, from the right to the left, slowly in my notification bar. I think it's really cool. Transparency, hmm, it definitely creates quite some performance. So I switch this one off. Um, toggles, this is how to set up here your toggles in your notification bar. This is really handy. Of course, you also have a brightness control over here, right? Let's, let's set it up to like 60% or something. And um, then we have the battery. So I switched uh, off the battery icon. All I have is a, um, a percentage of the charging and you can switch on a charging animation, whatnot. And here, this is really nice. Uh, you can also set your CPU um, this one is running right now on 1.2 gigahertz, but I can also underclock it, which saves you a little bit of battery. So, and it's still fast at one gigahertz or let's say 800 megahertz. You can um, free memory over here. You can set up a scrolling cache and a fast charge. And what else do we have? We have a couple of startup tweaks here, enable SD uh, boost, and uh, you can clear your cache over here. So a lot of little tweaks um, to improve the performance of your phone in general. Yeah, this is just a small 
walkthrough of this device. Um, when I did some quadrant benchmark, it was around 3,000 points. It might be a little bit less compared to a gingerbread ROM, but you know, when I did this, that was back in August 2011, I think they also changed quadrant quite a little bit. I think the phone feels very, very fast. It looks good, and I finally got um, yeah, my vanilla experience, or almost a vanilla experience uh, from Android 4.0. So this is Slim ICS, in my opinion, one of the best custom ROMs that you can get right now for your Samsung Galaxy S2 if you would love to have uh, yeah, a more like stock ICS look and feel. I'm Sascha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.